Hello, my name is Harry Kim, and I am a medical student in Dr. Cheryl Forchuk's lab. Uh, this project is called Factors Associated with Substance Use During Psychiatric Hospitalization for Persons Who Use Methamphetamine. I want to first start by acknowledging our community and institutional partners, including Western, LHSC, and St. Joseph Hospital. This analysis is uh, part of a greater project called the Methamphetamine Harm Reduction Study, which aims to develop harm reduction methods for persons who use methamphetamine in the hospital setting. Uh, methamphetamine is one of the most cheaply and widely available substances that are circulating in London, and studies have shown that it is on the rise over the last few years. And persons who use methamphetamines are at a greater risk of infection, hospitalization, as well as other comorbidities. So we wanted to investigate some potential factors that might be associated with substance use in the hospital, as well as factors that might be associated with uh, hospitalization related to substance use in the first place. We delivered uh, questionnaires and pre-validated surveys relating to substance use, quality of health, and service utilization, and recruited 114 individuals with past or current use of methamphetamine. Regarding the statistical analysis, we ran multivariate logistical regressions with backward selection to identify factors associated with two outcome variables, one being substance use in the hospital setting and two being methamphetamine related psychiatric hospitalization. If we look at the characteristics of our sample, uh, we found that 59% self-identified as white, 32% uh, self-identified as indigenous, and we saw a male-female sex split of 66 and 32%. And this sex ratio has been uh, seen similarly in other studies that have investigated similar populations. Regarding um, mental health conditions, 85% reported having any mental health condition uh, with anxiety, PTSD, and mood disorder being the most prevalent. We also saw ADHD, substance disorder, psychotic disorders, among others, uh, in this population. Uh, we looked further into the specific substance use, and 93% reported current use of any substance. Uh, methamphetamine was the most prevalent, but also we noted a high use of fentanyl. Um, we separated the prescription opioid and fentanyl categories because individuals who reported prescription opioid usage did not necessarily use fentanyl uh, and vice versa. You can take a pause um, to look at the unadjusted and adjusted odds ratios in our regression tables. On the left, we have the factors associated with substance use in the hospital. And on the right, we have factors associated with methamphetamine related hospitalizations. And I highlighted the ones that were the factors that were found to be statistically significant uh, after adjusting for all other factors. Over here on the left, we see that white ethnicity and having ADHD were significantly associated with in-hospital substance use. And on the right, prescription opioid usage was statistically significant uh, association with methamphetamine-related hospitalization. That being said, these input variables are likely to have a lot of interplay and confounding between each other. Um, because we reported a lot of multi-substance use. Um, so persons who use uh, more than one type of substance, methanol, methamphetamine plus fentanyl, methamphetamine plus cocaine, et cetera. And uh, we saw that individuals were likely to report having more than one mental health condition. Uh, so persons who reported ADHD also reported having anxiety disorders and so on. M most of our population uh, was currently or previously homeless. Um, so that is also a variable that is likely to come into play when uh, looking into our analysis. That being said, this was a preliminary analysis to characterize our population to better identify what this uh, methamphetamine, methamphetamine using population might look like. And using this data could help uh, further tailor our harm reduction strategies uh, when we look into how we can uh, help these individuals in the hospital setting. Currently, there are, exists no harm reduction methods uh, for substance use in the hospital. So it remains a challenge to see how we can tailor our resources to better identify uh, individuals who may use substances in the hospital and perhaps prevent 
uh, prevent uh, people who use uh, substances from being hospitalized. Uh, thank you very much um, for your attention.